This game is called the product game. So for this game, I'm gonna need a few things. I'm going to need a game board. And I had to create this game board. This game board is a six by seven array with numbers filled into it. There are also some numbers along the bottom that you might notice. You will want to pause this video now to create this game board before you begin the game. Once you have this game board, the other things you're going to need to collect are something to mark your game board with. You're gonna want them in either two different colors or two different types of objects. So you could use beans or beads or Legos. I have these little toy bears that I'm using. You could use coins, really anything that you can fit on this game board. You're also gonna need either a pretend buddy or a real buddy to work with. I don't have a real buddy to work with at my house today, so I'm gonna use my pretend buddy dog, which will be fun too. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with our two, with two additional markers. Oh, I keep dropping my bear. With two additional markers on two of the numbers down here. These are going to be our factors that we will multiply together to make a product that is on this board. So I'm going to go with one and 10. So I know one times 10 is 10. So I can go ahead and mark the 10 with my bear. Now, puppy dog will move one of these bears, only one of them, he doesn't get to move both, to make a new product and fill in a new space on the board. Now, you wanna be the first person with four in a row. Now, that can be across, up and down, or diagonal. So you wanna make sure that you are trying to get numbers that are close to each other and maybe blocking someone else too if you think they might beat you. So puppy dog might think, well, there's a 10 and a one, and ooh, he could block me by doing 10 times two and taking the 20 that's right here. He could block one way that I could move. So now I'm gonna move, let's see, my 10 to, also to the two, because two times two is, oh, no, I don't want to do that because he already stole that from me. So let's see. Hmm, this was on 10. So I could do um, two times four, which is eight. And I could take this one right here. Puppy dog could decide to do, let's see, two times nine, which is 18. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to do nine times one because then I can take this one and then I only have one left, but I'm gonna have puppy dog try to block me. Let's see if he can. One times, he could take one times seven and take this. So now I can only try for the 12. Oh, and I don't think there's a way I can get to 12 because I can't do one times 12, there's no 12 and I can't do seven times anything to get to 12, so I'm gonna to have to think of a new, new strategy. Where else could I go? I could do, let's see, seven times three and block off puppy dog here and also start a little diagonal thing going. I could have puppy dog do, hmm, oh, I'm gonna have him steal the three times four so that I can't go there, uh-oh. I'm gonna do four times four. So I'm gonna move that one over to take this 16 that puppy dog has. I'll have him do four times, let's see, I'll have him do four times one. So that he can take this four that's up here and I can't have that one later. Kind of getting in my way. Um, I could do, let's see, I could do one times three and end up taking that one. So now I have, let's see, I have some going diagonally here. I want to get that 35. We could have puppy dog do one times five to take this five up here. And I'm gonna move this one, uh-oh, and do five times seven is 35. So I just won the game because I have four in a row. 
Now, another way you could play this is if you need to show any work or solve any um, facts, you can um, always show your work on a piece of paper with a piece of paper and something to write with. And now we can clear our board and we can play all over again with our game board. Good luck, have fun.